the Baha'i writings tell us that um, science is one of the most noble virtues of mankind and that it is the discoverer of all things. And we also know that God has endowed each and every one of us with the faculty of reason, of rationality, uh, the ability to apply scientific analysis and follow scientific method. And in the Baha'i faith itself, one of the major principles that uh, we follow is that of the ind independent investigation of the truth. Um, so this, and this applies to every aspect of life, not just scientific inquiry. This is a type of faculty that we try to develop to apply to every aspect of decision making that we face in our lives, to try to make evidence-based decisions, um, and to consult on facts, not on feelings. It helps us to try to look at things with with an open mind, with an attitude towards learning, so that if we do come across something that is absolutely wonderful, that we're able to leave our belief behind and accept the new and the better answer. Um, one example that I can think of that's very personal is uh, as a Baha'i, you can't become a Baha'i just because, you don't become a Baha'i just because your parents are Baha'is or your grandparents are Baha'is or any of your distant relatives are Baha'is. We're all encouraged to explore the faith for ourselves, to make sure, to find, to find out what the truths are, what is Baha'u'llah saying and what does that revelation, how does that impact on, on what we're doing in life. And it doesn't end with just investigating the Baha'i faith. We're encouraged to investigate all faiths or any ideologies because we have to be clear in our minds that this is the step that we're taking because we believe that this is the right thing to do. So it's quite possible for all these different lines of action to exist together. Um, so inquiry and independent investigation don't just apply to science, but they're part of um, a way of life that we're trying to develop which involves thinking deeply and uncovering facts and considering facts. I think for many, many thousands of years, science and religion have been seen as very separate things. So you either believe in science or you believe in religion and there's no way for them to interact or work together. However, in the Baha'i faith, the harmony or the working together of science and religion is one of the fundamental principles. So both are true. Um, and it's said that science without religion is simply materialism, whereas religion without science then becomes superstition. And so one has to have the other um, to advance humanity. And there's also a quotation in the Baha'i writings um, that compares science and religion to two wings of a bird. And the bird is humanity. So if one wing isn't strong enough, then the bird can't fly. Both wings need to be equal. And so that's how science and religion should be. They should be working together. Well, again, I think this is a very, very good question. And it reminds me of one of the teachings of Baha'u'llah that attracted me to the Baha'i faith. And that is the harmony of science and religion. Because I've seen during my life so much arguing and fighting and disagreements over uh, which one is right. Is science right? Is religion or is religion right? And I see that they're both expressions of the truth. Truth is the purpose of, of each of those approaches, and there's no reason to, uh, to have disagreement. So this was one of the most important teachings for me that was very, very attractive, this harmony of science and religion. And as I said, they're both aiming towards the truth, and there should be no disagreement.